Question number five. Isn't it true that ligers and tigons are born with incomplete DNA because they're hybrids? Well, this is one of the more complex questions, but the simplistic answer is no living being can be born with incomplete DNA. To get to the root of this question, we have to understand how any mammal is born. In a process called gametogenesis, each parent produces gametes, the sperm and egg cells that combine to make the new being. Gametogenesis is a process by which specialized cells in both males and females split, creating the gametes which hold half the normal cell's chromosomes. Chromosomes are made up of DNA, the now familiar double helix of nucleic acids that are the building blocks for all life forms on Earth. In mammals, two chromosomes alone decide which gender a baby is going to be. These are X and Y chromosomes, so named because of the way they look to early researchers. Most chromosomes form a rough X shape, but the Y chromosome, the odd one out that causes the being to develop as a male, has one of the legs of the X missing, so they called it a Y chromosome. Females have the chromosome pair XX, while males have XY. Thus, during gametogenesis, the female cells split into two eggs both carrying one of her two X chromosomes. The male cells divide into sperm, half of which contain one X chromosome, and half of which contain the opposing Y chromosome. When combined in the new baby, a female's X egg can combine with an X sperm to create a female, or the X egg can combine with a Y sperm to create a male. In either case, the new baby has half the chromosomes from the mother and half the chromosomes from their father. Now, in hybrids, things can sometimes be a little different. The number of chromosomes is not the same for all plants and animals. Some have more than others. Some have less than others. Humans, for example, have 46 chromosomes. Most cats, like lions and tigers, and even house cats, have 38 chromosomes. A few species of wild cats have 36. Horses have 64 chromosomes, dogs have 78, and so on. One hybrid most people know about is a mule. They are presumed to be genetically sterile because they have only 63 chromosomes a number which cannot be divided evenly to create the two gametes. This number is arrived at due to domestic horses having 64 chromosomes and donkeys having 62. However, recent studies with the preservation of Shavalsky's horse, an endangered species of wild horse from Asia, has led to a curious question about the ability to create fertile hybrids with domestic horses, even though they have 66 chromosomes. Thus, the hybrid would have 65, 32 from the domestic horse and 33 from Shavalsky's horse. In ligers and tigons, however, both lions and tigers have 38 chromosomes, and so, as a result, so do ligers and tigons. Thus, they do have an even diploid chromosome count, and as such can genetically produce their haploid gametes in a normal manner. Even if this were not the case, the odd diploid number only inhibits reproduction rather than existence entirely, as is demonstrated by mules and hinnies with their odd number of 63 chromosomes. Even though they have one chromosome just hanging there, so to speak, the combination of chromosomes is such that the being does survive and is genetically stable. If the chromosome count was in such disproportion or odd in combination of species, such as a horse and a cow, the egg and sperm may have met, but fertilization would not necessarily have occurred. And if fertilization did occur, the fertilized zygote would not necessarily develop in a normal manner in utero, inside the mother's womb, and so would not be born, nor would it necessarily be likely to survive even if it were born alive. As such, the presumption that incomplete DNA could exist in a hybrid which results in a live birth, and which could somehow be an impediment to continued development, is a very questionable concept. It is not entirely illogical, however, in that some issues could be presented shortly after birth in exceptionally unusual circumstances. However, that possibility exists in all species and isn't exclusive to hybrids of any type.